Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes three and four of Van of the Stars. BTW, I'm not gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna beat around in the bush. All right, so number one, first thing is it is 4:31 in the morning. I am tired as heck, but um, today is the only day I was able to have time to record this because I've been busy for the last couple of days and such. So between some of the other things that are coming out Friday. Um, this will all come out Saturday morning by the time most of the patrons read this on Friday and everything. Also, I was nine minutes into this and such. My mom was choking, so I had to stop. So the first, like, nine minutes of this, we're just gonna, I'm probably gonna, like, talk about some of the things that I was talking about, even though I kind of don't really remember because I heard her cough and then I was like, blank, and I had to make sure she was okay. Um, so, Yeah! <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. So, like I said, sorry in advance. It just happened. She just, all I heard was, <clears throat> and, and I'm like, are you okay? She didn't respond to me. And I was just like, I need to get the fuck up and I got to go check on her. So, she's okay. She just choked. Just... Had to make sure. Unfortunately. It is still, number one, also crazy that this was three years ago. Alright, so one thing that I said in the previously nine minutes ago that I watched before my mom, um, I had said, okay, there's a point where, like, I feel like as of right now, because of the fact is, <laughs> Lafio killed the, the the sister of the Baron, of course, killed him. She is possibly going to make Lafayette's life a living hell. But it seems like maybe, just maybe, um, there might be a point where these two can like put aside their differences and may, maybe, possibly get along. I, I mean, maybe, because like, as I said in the previous video of it, or previous recording that I did, where, to the point where I had to stop, um, it's kind of similar, well, not really, but the little bit like, oh, I don't want to be your friend, this is that and the third, it's very similar to the situation between Chiyu and Kukuru from the Aqua Top on White Sand. So if you have not seen that, ever since a certain point when Chiyu came in, Kokoro and Chiyu have never really been able to see eye to eye. And in last week's recent episode, um, they were finally able to get along because of the fact is this bit I cannot speak. This secret about Chiyu and her life and finding out that she has a kid and now the fact is that Kokoro understands and just like, okay, now I see why you're like this and why you hid things, especially from your other co-workers and such, and this is then the third. But there might be like a standpoint where these two can get along, but still something kind of tells me that the Baron sister will make Lafayette's life a living hell. And Jinto's going to have to be there to kind of like, not necessarily lift up Lafayette, it's more of just to be there and to support her. Because at the end of the day, 
That is what he is. They've supported each other all throughout season one, aka three years ago, and they're continuing that bond into this show. So still, who knows what are the dangers that they're going to face with the rest of their crew, you know, for the end of this damn series. Because, I mean, seriously, I have no idea how the fuck this is going to end. But I really, truly hope that these two can see eye to eye. It might take a while, but that's okay. Of course. <laughs> well, wouldn't you? I mean, come on now. I get that. I mean, it was either your lives or his. I understand the reason why you had to kill him, but like, damn. Uh -huh. Might as well just keep them. Yeah. Alright, this should be right where I stopped at. No, we're getting close to it. We got like four more minutes left. I'm just like at the the ninth, twelfth minute mark for me. Well, video wise for the episode, but for me it'll probably be like ten minutes maybe.
Okay, now I'm officially caught up. Thank God. All right. Oh, a damn. But I can see why he's upset about that. Corn on the cob sounds good. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Four in the morning and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to eat till later. Well, I mean, it's a good thing I had dinner like several hours ago. But you know how like you're craving like a midnight snack or something? And you just need like that pick me up. I mean, you know, the way she is talking about her brother, it's like, oh, hey, I'm glad he's dead. Excuse me. Yeah, does the title go to you, though? See, I thought that too. She's right. See, something tells me she might do that because she seems like that type of person who would. Exactly.
die. Even though not, that's not going to happen. Because, I mean, come on, we got a third season. But still, probably a lot of people are going to die in the next few minutes. Excuse me. baby. Aww. Poor thing. Like, oh my god. Like, do not kill the cat. I swear to god. Because, you know, they just want to have a chance to speak to that Viela princess. You would be thinking about drinking as of right now. I mean, Jesus, we don't have time for this. Are you sure you don't want like an energy drink or something? I would I would love to freaking have an energy drink right now. <laughs> but energy drinks are very bad for you.
Excuse me. I swear to God, if anything happens to this fucking cat. And you're going to end it right there, aren't you? Of course you are. Of course. Okay. Now, right now, with the way this ended, the ball is in anybody's game. Anything and everything can happen in this next episode. Like, seriously. It's almost like all bets are off, even though we are still essentially are at the very beginning of this second season. Now, the fact is that, you know... Jinto and the Baron sister were able to talk and the fact that she said yeah I'm not bitter about it in a way she is happy that her brother is dead but then at the same time because of that title and such who is gonna have it next obviously she doesn't want it because you could see by the way she said it she does not want the title she didn't like being there so of course not she doesn't want anything to do with it but in a way what if this series is in where she is forced to take it that or her dad like one of those two has to get that title but even to the fact is where like she even asked you to like hey can you apologize to Lafayette for this and he was like well why don't you just do it her yourself and because of the fact is you know Lafayette is this you know very high royal person aka a princess and because of the certain standards that is going on right now it it's a bad time for her to come and say hey there's no hard feelings. I want to start anew. But we probably won't see that until maybe at least four or five possibly. But I am glad that they officially established or really the Baron sister established that. Oh hey, if I did hold a grudge, I could make her life a living hell if I really truly wanted to. But in a way, like I, I don't really trust her on that because I feel like she wants to do that secretly. Because like I said, if it was someone who you cared about, truly, and if someone killed that person that you truly cared about, wouldn't you want to get revenge to make you feel better? I mean, and I hate to say this, I, I would. I really, truly would. But, I mean, because at the same time, here's one thing I'm also going to say. Killing that person who killed your brother, uh, sister, significant other is not going to bring them back. But at the end of the day, the choices that you make is going, you're going to have to be represented and you're going to have to be judged for them no matter what. 
So it is a damned if you do, damned if you don't. I'm glad that she is trying to, you know, I cannot believe I'm about to say this. The, the saying that my mom and my grandma used to say, um, aka putting her big girl panties on or being an adult or a woman or someone who, you know, of the same species and everything and trying to woman up or quote unquote man up about it and being and having and almost trying to have a civilized conversation with Lafayette, even though we have not seen that yet. But the fact is that she wants to start anew with her is basically saying, okay, let me take this step. I honestly was thinking that Lafayette would be the one, but of course we're not getting in that. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about this episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm not counting this. How many? Okay, three more shows left and then I'm done. And I got like... Eight more hours left? N n no, I'm wrong. Shit, I can't figure it out. Hold on, no five. About four hours left? Let me do some simple math real quick. Where the hell did I put? Is there any? Is it? Is it? God dang it. No, it's not. But that's okay. We'll use my birthday envelope. Okay. Pencil, pencil. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, not counting this, it was 300. Okay. Alright. Sorry. I had to do that real quick. Okay. So, also, first through when no one else dies. I mean, yes, we don't want Lafayette and her crew, plus, you know, <laughs> Diajo, <laughs> Kitty. We don't need the cat dying. Um, we don't need the Baron's sister dying because honestly, even though this is now the second video, I do kind of like her in a way. She's very interesting. Different from her brother, but I feel like she seems a lot more likable than her brother. So prayers right up right now, <laughs> please. Don't let any of these characters die today, but I feel like someone is. And Whoever it is, it could be someone that we haven't truly met. And, you know, that's okay. It is what it is. We'll just see. Hold on. Alexa, 260 minutes is how many hours? 260 
right? It's always going to be in the back of her mind. Exactly. Because you could end up like your mom. Of course. Who wouldn't be scared? I mean, come on now. This is a life or death situation. Anything and everything can happen. And will happen. <laughs> yeah, they're just not showing it. I mean, but really, Susan, she's talked about it, but it, I mean, still, as I said with the real life video, I kind of wish that they, mm, we'll talk about it later. Unfortunately. Yeah, but didn't that also feel a little too easy as well? Sorry, trying to do stuff to wake, keep myself awake. I got three more shows to record after this and then I am done. Oh my god, please don't say that. You're going to jinx it, though. Oh.
one. Okay, thank God. There's a lot writing on this though. Are you trembling? Excuse me, sorry. Of course, they were waiting just for the right time to strike. Excuse me. Unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do. I mean, because I, I get him. I really, truly get it. You want to help just as much as anybody else does. But when you are out, you are out and there's nothing else you can do.
Yeah, but unfortunately, you guys can't, so... We helping! Gonna make that. I mean, of course, do you see how fast that thing coming? Mm -mm. I mean, because we know they main character, but still, the way that that thing was coming, oh, hell no. Nah. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't do this. Oh, oh my god. No. Not like this. It's not her time. Make it, make it, make it, make it, please. Thank God. Just Jesus Christ. Y'all are fine. Nobody got hurt. Nobody died. The only thing that got hurt was the ship. It is replaceable. You guys aren't. truly is because it doesn't feel fair Unfortunately, no quarters orders are fucking absolute. Bye, baby. Exactly. And you really don't want that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 
You did good, honestly. I mean, after all that training that you had to do. Exactly. You should celebrate. Yeah, you're still on the job. Hmm. And here's hoping to many more, though. Yeah. Because all of you could have died. So, I mean, seriously, be happy about that. I mean, yes, losing lives is very, very sad, but still living. It's still something worthwhile, and you can just check to see what the fuck went wrong, and pray God it don't happen again. Which is Of course. You went right back to work. Okay. So what I will officially say about this for Lafia and her crew's first official battle. They did a really good job. Like I said, thank God no one was hurt. No one died. The only thing that got hurt was the ship. Like I said, the ship is replaceable. These characters and this crew that we're like, we've been with only for a couple episodes, but with Jinto, Lafia, and <laughs> I love the cute Taiha. <laughs> Die hole. Uh, the kitty they are irreplaceable so I don't really want anything to happen to them I'm still kind of assuming nothing is going to happen to them because you know two main characters and everybody's with them so nothing really should happen to these characters but the fact is that they were that close Lafayette was that close to seeing her mother again it kind of now says, yes, it is possible for these characters to die. To be that close to death, be like saved by it, I just froze for a second, um, is a miracle and a blessing. So they really, especially the fact is with Junto celebrating, hey, we, we did it. We're alive. We're okay. No one's dead in our group. We're fine. We need to celebrate that. I really personally enjoyed that because still, whether it's happy moments, sad moments, you need to celebrate every little thing because you don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I mean, oof. Big, big oof. Well, somebody's jealous. <laughs> I mean, come on now. It was very obvious. <laughs> because, like I said, there, there's moments where both Jinto and Lafayette have, like, 
somewhat romance moments, even though this series, once again, is not a romantic type anime. It has a little bit there, but not to the point where it's like, oh, dang, I can see these two possibly together. It's just like, they they love each other, but not in like a typical quote-unquote romance as because they're worrying about every little battle every little moment where it's like oh hey we might die but you know we can still have moments together and like jealousy and this is that and the third but really <laughs> at the end of the day it is cute but of course <laughs> feel like oh mm. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Banner of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.